Hi, my lovely, amazing, beautiful people. How y'all doing today? So listen, this is the day that the Lord has made and I'm choosing to rejoice and be glad in it. I decided to shoot this video in my cap because I graduated yesterday, um, didn't celebrate. Um, it was a virtual graduation because the COVID numbers have risen. Um, and I'm just happy that I did what I did. I did it for myself, I did it for my son. And God is good and he's faithful. But listen, um, I shared this word yesterday with my good sis. And my good sis, I love her. Um, I can call her at 4.52 a.m. and I can say pray and she's going to go prophetically. She's going to pray on my behalf and we intercede like that for each other and have been doing so since um, 2019, which is ironic because it, we started doing that with each other right before COVID came. And, um, and so we go strong. We may go three, four, five months and then we may stop that we may get back together and, and, and do what we do. Um, and this is all in addition to our personal and private devotion and, and, and prayer time in our personal lives. But listen, I shared this word with her because it was on my spirit so heavy and I wanna share it with many of you. Um, this message is not for everybody. This is a message for certain people. Um, if this message is for you, it will resonate with your spirit. Your spirit will bear witness. And I'm just gonna tell you exactly how it came to me. And so what was conveyed to me is that this is open door season. What does that mean? That means that this is a appointed time for many of us. This is an appointed time. The heavens are open. He deals with time. He's all about an appointed time. He's all about the right time, a specific time. He doesn't deal in time as we know the metrics of time, there is a time for everything under the sun. That's what Ecclesiastes says. This is an appointed time. This is an open time. And what he was telling me was that this is not the kind of thing where God is going to just give you things. He's going to just plop it in your lap. It's just going to magically appear. Though this time is going to be very supernatural and very miraculous. Um, but I want to let you know that he's going to empower you to move. He's going to empower you to do certain things. He's going to empower you to walk in obedience. And so I want to share this with someone, whatever the Lord is empowering you to do during this time. And you may call it this season. You may call it this month. You may call it this quarter. You may call it this hour, whatever you want to call it. What, whatever you, whatever you do know that it's a, it's an open season that God is strategically and he has appointed this time to blow on some things. He has appointed this time to demonstrate his power. He has appointed this time for miracle signs and wonders. This is an appointed time that God is going to show. Um, he's going to show forth his power. For many of us, he's going to he's going to um, come and you're going to experience your breakthrough. For many of us, he's going to heal you. For many of us, he's going to give you those answers. For many of us, he's going to open those doors. For many of us, this will be a time of destiny. Whatever it is, it's going to lead you. It is a transportation portal into your next. It is a transportation portal into elevation. And I'm not talking about earthly elevation. I'm talking about spiritually. And this is uh, the transportation that's going Going to that's going to transport you into a higher plane in him a greater depth of of walking with God that's why I'm encouraging you and letting you know that whatever it is that he's empowering you to do and he, he's empowering you because he's going to back it he's empowering you because he's giving you the go-ahead he's giving you the unction he's empowering you because he wants to usher you into this thing and i want you to know because i had a moment yesterday i think it's so interesting because how we hear the Lord and how we trust and how we obey, that plays a big role into what it is that I'm talking about. And I just want to encourage somebody. You may be looking for a sign on a wall. You may be looking for God to write it on a mirror. You may be looking for him to, to do something drastic. But I want to encourage you. When I tell you that God is going to empower you, when I tell you that he's going to give you the unction, he's going to impress it upon your heart, upon your mind, upon your spirit, you're going to feel like you can go on and do this thing. You may not have had the strength or the confidence to do it in the past. Your insecurities were not right. There were some things that God had to get out of you, but I want to let you know that the time is now. God has given you the green light. 
And so again, this is not nothing that God is going to just plop in your lap and sit in your lap. No, 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 no. It's the thing that he's empowering you to do that he is going to back. So pay very close attention to everything that you feel like the Lord is empowering you to do in this season, because that's the thing. That is the thing that God is going to use to change the trajectory of your life. That is the thing that God is going to use to show you something. He's going to show whatever he's going to show you. You will not be the same. Your faith will not be the same. How you walk will not be the same. How you talk will not be the same. The people that you used to entertain, you won't be able, you won't be able to entertain anymore. The things that you used to settle for, you won't be able to settle for it anymore because God is going to level you up and he's not going to do it just based on the fact that this is an open season. Season. No, he's going to do it because you obey. He's going to do it because you heard and obeyed. He's going to do it because whatever it is that you're doing, whatever it is that he has impressed upon your heart, it is for him to get glory. And I want to let somebody know because you're probably thinking, well, um, I don't want you to think that you have to have already had things on the ball. You have already had to have crowded crossed all of your T's and dotted all of your I's. This is not that kind of situation going on here. I want to let you know that God went to raise Lazarus from the dead and he was able to get glory from a flat out dead person. He was able to get glory from a flat out dead thing. So I want to let you know, I don't know where you are currently, but don't, don't talk yourself out of obeying. Don't talk yourself out of moving forward. Don't talk yourself out of stepping out on faith because God is going to show you but you have to move your feet he's going to empower you to move your feet and when he gives you when he empowers you i need you to go i need you to be thinking in your mind on your mark get set ready go because that's that's how i'm look that's how i'm seeing it but I don't want you to think, well, I don't have this. I don't have the business plan. I don't have the money in my bank account. When, when it was time for, for Jesus to perform that miracle to feed the 5,000 with two fish and five loaves of bread, uh, I, I'm sure they could have talked themselves out of that miracle. The disciples always, almost wanted to. I'm sure somebody was in the crowd and saying, well, you know, this is not going to happen. This is not going to work because you're going to need 5,000 pieces of fish. But God was able to show them that I'm able to do more with less. I'm able to do I'm able to do what you, what you deem, what you know to be impossible with very little to nothing. So I want to encourage you. This is not a, this is not a you thing. This is not anything about what you have, what you are capable of doing, what you are equipped with. No, this is the thing that God is going to blow on. This is the thing that he's going to back up. This is the thing that he's going to spearhead. This is the thing that he's going to blow on. This is the thing that he's going to cause to prosper. This is the thing that he's going to produce funded he is your resource in this season and so i just want to let somebody know i'm not trying to be deep i'm not trying to be one of those people that that got a special word every quarter every year and all of that kind of stuff uh, but but i'm obedient when god gives me dreams when i when god gives me visions when god speaks to my spirit and he speaks to my heart and i know exactly what i feel empowered to do and i know that it's coming directly from god and so i want to share this word that you may partake in this open time there is a it's an open time it's an open time and so i want to just let you know don't trust me don't trust my word but trust god oh, don't bet on me don't bet on yourself but bet on god don't even look at it like oh well kina uh kina said it was going to happen like this no i want you to go to god in prayer and say god if this is you god give me confirmation god if this is you open my eyes to show me what it is that you are empowering me to do and then have the right motive of what is your motive for the thing he's empowering you to do? What is your motive? For many people, their motive is wealth, success, popularity, fame. And then you have other people that are truly called. They're truly anointed. They truly want to help people. They truly have a desire to see people free. They have a desire to see people unbound. They have a desire to do the work of the Lord, to do the work of the kingdom. I'm reminded of Paul who said, woe is me if I don't preach the gospel. Many of us, we are just wanting to be obedient to the Lord who keeps us, to the Lord who sustains us, to the Lord who has kept us here solely for his purpose. And so I just want to let you know, this is open season. Hallelujah. You can receive it if you want. I dare you to move your feet. That's all I'm saying is move your feet. He's empowered you to do something. He's ushering you to do something. He's giving you the unction to do something. What I'm telling you is that it's God. 
It's God. It's God. Match it up to the Bible. Does it line up with the word of God? What is he encouraging you to do? For some people, it may be as small as time to forgive someone. It may be time to let go of grudges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's ushering you to do some kingdom things. He's ushering you to do some new things. He's ushering you to stop judging people. He's ushering you to look and think on things different. He's, he's giving you priorities. He's always wanting to give you guidance and, 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 and show you how to prioritize. But this time you actually hear him. This time you're actually putting, you're actually putting foot behind word. This time you're actually, put, you're actually putting work behind faith. Yay. I'm not talking about, this doesn't have to be about a business. This doesn't have to be about a great endeavor. This doesn't have to be about a big conference. This doesn't have to be about anything big. This can be internal, whatever it is, but I'm trying to let you know that it's open season for whatever it is. So I'm saying, take it to the Lord, spend time in prayer and open yourself up and, and, and just believe and walk in great expectation. And God, he said, my word will not fall to the ground. And so I just want to encourage you. Don't try me, try God. Don't try my word, try the word. And so listen, I love y'all. Uh, be blessed. It is open season. I receive that for myself. I receive it and I believe it. But listen, I love y'all. I pray this blessed you as much as God used it to bless me. Have a good one. Bye.